What's up, Rebels? It is Chunky Monkey 40 years, another reaction video on the channel today. You know, it's been a minute since I've done a reaction video, actually, but I have done two Up Church album breakdown videos. It's been a minute since I've done an actual reaction video. I mean, my, my album breakdown videos are, they are still reactions. They involve my raw reactions, but they're also like an in-depth breakdown, like after I've listened to the songs for like a week, which if you'd like to go check those out, they're linked down below in the description. But today, we are going to be covering Robert James's new song, Blood. Line. So just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory if you do not know who Robert James is. So Robert James is the son of Kid Rock and that's kind of what this song touches on. He leaked it on his Facebook page a long time ago in a live stream that I was watching. I, it was like probably two months ago I would say. But this song he showed and I remembered it specifically because of the, the few lyrics that I heard. And they, they were really deep, and you, you'll hear them in just a moment. But first, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And be sure to go and check out some of my other recent videos that I've done on my YouTube channel. I think you guys will really enjoy them. I'm really excited to hear exactly what this song is. Like, I heard, you know, he leaked like a 10 second clip. Oh, it's playing. He leaked like a 10 second clip of it on his social medias, and it sounds like fire. So I'm excited to get into it. So, yeah, without further ado, let's do it. Love that. Ball with the ball, his legacy and all. He put food on the table for me. Ball with the ball being Kid Rock's first, like, I guess, breakout hit. That's awesome that he pays homage to that song in this one. Woo! <laughs> Pure cockiness right there. Ooh, I got a daughter to feed. Buckle up your seats and fasten up your harness. Before you can ride, throw your judgment in the garbage. This is my theme park. I'm just getting started. I love that line right there. I'm not riding coattails, I'm working my hardest, which is 100% true. You know, that's one thing that I have a lot of respect for for RJ is that he has, like, like I, I remember I watched the, um, there's this one special on YouTube when I was doing a bit of research for my recent video. Um, there's this one special on YouTube. It's a, like a Born Free TV special, right? In that, RJ shows off one of his songs to his dad and his dad just straight up says, you know. It's the toughest thing it can do is try to be famous after somebody in your family is we're not gonna lie to you i wish i could teach him how to play guitar great and how to write a song great and stuff like that but i really can't it's nice to have help and i can definitely help him along i can show him things here and there but at the end of the day you know he's got to fall down and scrape his knees and you know back, bump his head and get back up and i think that's what it's all about so I really like that line that he's not riding the coattails of his dad, which he isn't, you know? And that's something mad respect to him for, you know? I'm not going to name any names, but in, even though they, they are good artists themselves, but they do really ride the coattails of their bloodline. Not to point any fingers at anybody, but... It's just true. There's a lot of celebrities out there who, who had kids and then their kids used their fame to sort of make themselves famous. I'm not riding coattails, I'm working my hardest. Detroit, Michigan, that was awesome. Simple like no paparazzi with the photos. I was a bus boy and I took the bus home. While my dad was on tour making us more money. And my mom left me abandoned. Went ghost and my dad could afford a phantom. Grew up cold all alone. I like that line. I like that line right there. Like the dark night, this is my advantage. I like that line. Night, this is my advantage. I'm losing my head, losing my mind. Don't change my face, you can't break my stride. I'm on my way. You and me only kiss me, take sides. Can't stop us in my brain. I never sound my soul, not ever. I will never fall when under pressure. Because I'm on my way. I love that chorus. He's basically saying that doing this is in his bloodline. It's in his bloodline to work hard for yourself and make your own name. He's trying to, you know, history's kind of in its way repeating itself, you know? It was, at one time it was Kid Rock trying to feed RJ. Now it's RJ trying to feed Sky. So it's kind of cool how he sort of has taken those two similarities between him and his dad and combined them together in this song. I really like that. <laughs> Like the guitar solo right here. 
feels patriotic, you know? Half black, half white, I'm a Mexican. Biracial Bobby's in between like a bridge. <laughs> That's awesome. Black, half white, I'm a Mexican. Biracial Bobby's in between like a bridge. Crossing everybody like a bad boy piston. I say it's better to kick like ass that. than to kiss it. Biracial Bobby's in between like a bridge's crossing. I like that. Good wordplay off of being off of the half black, half white, I'm a mixed kid. And I also like that shout out to the Detroit Pistons. I don't do sports at all, but hey, you gotta rep the D when you can. But the best bar right there was, it's better to kick ass than to kiss it, which it is. Because what would you rather people say about you? Would you rather say, he kicked ass and got his way up to the top? Or would you rather them say, he kissed ass to get his way to the top? I think kicking ass sounds a lot better. <laughs> I don't know why this just came to mind, but didn't Wheeler Walker Jr. have a song called like Eating Pussy Kicking Ass or something like that? <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking, get back to the song. I'm self-made, I got dedication. They respect that in my reputation. Yes, we do. Nowadays, self-made's the way to go. You know, with all with how the record labels are nowadays, and plus you got the internet too. Like me, every single thing I've done on my YouTube channel is all done by me. I don't have anybody. Well, I have you know, obviously I have my buddies helping me, like Jokester Eighteen. Shout out Jokester Eighteen. But other than that, though, it's just I'm doing me. It's much easier to respect somebody who made them, her, who made their name themselves. You know, because it gives you something to idolize them for. You know. They respect that in my reputation. I can pull strings trying to make me famous, but I ain't a fucking puppet for your entertainment. <laughs> Whew. Savage again. I could pull strings to try and make it famous, but I ain't a fucking puppet for your entertainment. Because the puppeteer pulls the strings, you know? That's awesome. I love that. I'm losing my head. And that's sad, you know, it's, there's a lot of people out there on, on social media, especially who they'll do anything and everything just to, for one, get clicks for themselves and two, just to take someone down. And, and I've never understood that, you know, like I understand that with 12, 13 year olds, cause 12 and 13 year olds are just straight up assholes. I mean, like think back to when you were 12 or 13, really like you were a punk, whether you like it or not, you were a punk. You had it in you. Because I mean, I know I was. I remember playing GTA 5 at, in, or Call of Duty and Minecraft to just scream and cuss words at my friends. Just stay at you. That's just what you did. You were that young, you know? But there's like actually, like, think about this for a minute. There's actually grown men and women out there trying to take down people for things that they're just being accused of. That they didn't even do. They're just being accused of. And it's sad, you know? It's like, can, can't we all just let people live their dreams the way they want to but I mean welcome to the internet <laughs> everybody's got to have an opinion and everybody's opinion matters well now I guess my back is to the wall and I will always fight until I fall I put my bloodline against them all put my bloodline And I also love that he's like, you know, I'm not going to sell my soul ever. And he's, in, no matter how much pressure he gets, he's not going to let the pressure get to him. He's going to stay himself. He's going to stay true to himself. And he's going to stay rebel, basically. See how I plug myself there? The more my way, you and me, you're a kiss, you take sides, can't stop us in my blood. Like this echoey effect right here. With the piano. Oof. That track was awesome.
one thing that is really cool about RJ is that he doesn't make music like his dad does. You know, I, I know he's tried to make music like his dad at times, like, you know, with the rap rock and rapping, but this is like a whole, it's got a little bit of rap in it, but it's mostly an R&B song from what it sounds like. I mean, that's the vibe I'm getting. Is it, there any information in the, in the description? Nope, this beat is by NAM Records. But I love that though, you know, this that song's awesome. And it's nice to hear him try, he's finally found his own sound, you know? Like he sort of, his voice reminds me a lot of Michael Jackson, honestly. And I love that sound. He's got like, there's a song that he did, which I highly recommend you guys go check out if you haven't already. It's called All Alone. That song, I just, I love it. I listen to that song pretty often. That's probably my favorite song by Robert James so far. Now, this one definitely is up there. I really hope to see this song take off because, you know, and then if, if the next album that he's working on, dude, if the next album that he's working on is like this right here, yeah, that's going to be fire. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to go check out Robert James on Apple Music, Spotify. The song Bloodline is available all over and it's also linked in the description at the very top. I really encourage you guys to go and check it out. Seriously, he's on to something big. And that's not me saying that just as a Kid Rock fan. I genuinely enjoy Robert James's music. It's not just, you know, a lot of people get a bias on singers and another artist just because their favorite artist has endorsed them. Like, for example, there's a lot of people who are fans of Upchurch who feel entitled to have to be fans of Adam Calhoun, Demon Jones, Jelly Roll, Struggle Jennings. It's like, just because you like one of those artists doesn't mean you also have to like them all, you know? Like, now you can. Like me, I like songs from all those artists. But as for, you know, artists that I really enjoy, I don't enjoy a lot of Demon Jones' music, but he's got some really good songs. You know, he's got those few good songs that I really enjoy. Same with Adam Calhoun. Same with Jelly and Struggle, you know? But just me personally, I go where I feel the music is the realest. And this song right there is proof. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video right here. So with all that said and out of the way, I am ChunkyMonkey40 at YouTube.com. Stay rebel, y'all. Just some good old boys Never mean no harm Beats all you ever saw in trouble